Hello YouTube land, it's me again, and welcome back to my channel. Um, this is a tag video, as you can tell, and I was tagged by the lovely Africa Harrigan, Drew Lux TV, and also Neil. And the tag was started by uh, Jerusha Couture, and it is called the five uh, luxury items that you um, must have in your collection. So I'm just going to go ahead and just get started, uh, jump into the video. So um, if you guys have been following me for some time, uh, you know that I love me some twillies or bandos or whatever it is you want to call them. This uh, one is uh, an Hermes one, and this is the only Hermes one that I have, but I just love these beautiful colors. And then this one right here is um, my, my latest one by Louis Vuitton. And if you know me, you know I love me some red. So... Um, I really, really, really love having these um, uh, these twillies in my collection. I find them very versatile. Um, I know the Hermes one costs, I think, like one sixty five, one sixty or one sixty five. And the Louis Vuitton ones, if you get the BB ones, which is a smaller one like this, I believe it's one seventy, and I think the larger ones are one eighty, if I'm not mistaken. But the, they are still a little pricey, but you can use these so many different ways. You can tie them around your hair, your head. You can use them on your bags. Um, you can either tie them around your wrists, make a little bracelet out of them. Um, I typically wear them either on my neck or I have uh, been known to decorate my bag by tying a little bow on them. But I just think that these are perfect to have in my collection. Um, you, because they're so versatile, you definitely will get your money's worth out of them. Um, simply because there's so many different ways that you can utilize um, these items here. So for me, I love bandos. And um, I will be definitely uh, adding some more to my collection. So that's the first item. Um, item number two, let's see here. Okay, I'm going to say for me, my mom had passed down to me her uh, diamond studs right here. And um, I wear them every single day. I wear them probably about 99% of the time. I have the one here in my ear. Um, you know, I just think that these are uh, timeless they're classic. Um, you can pass them down to, you know, whomever you want to. And um, I just think that every lady, you know, providing you have your ear pierced, you know, should have them uh, a nice pair of diamond stud earrings. Um, you know, you can, um, you know, get them from any jewelry store. They don't have to, you know, be expensive or anything like that. But, you know, it's a, just a piece of jewelry that I think are just so nice, so lovely, so elegant. And, you know, it's just nice just to have a little sparkle, you know, in your air. Um, you know, when you turn your head just the right way, you get that little, just that little, that little sparkle, you know, that just kind of catches, you know, catches the lighting just right. Um, so, yeah, so for me, I love my, uh, my diamond earrings. And I just think that, you know, every woman, providing you have your ear pierced, of course, um, should have a pair of diamond studs in her collection. So that's my second item. And my third item, it was a toss-up between sunglasses and perfume. The reason why I chose sunglasses, I don't know, for me, I guess, the, okay, the reason why I chose the sunglasses, um, it's because it's something that's visible, you know, something that you can see. Yes, perfume is something you can smell, um, but I don't know. I just think, I just, for some reason, the shades just went out over the, over the fragrance. Um, so, I have me a pair of Tom Fords here, and I just think these are so, so beautiful. Um, you can see it has the, the gold uh, trimming right here, but this is how they look on. And I don't know, when I have them on, you know, 
um, I just feel fabulous in them, you know. I think they, they're really nice. They're beautiful. They're very well made. And um, I love how they look. I love the design of them. I love this tortoise shell. Um, it's kind of like a, a, you can't tell here, but it has like this little pink hue to, pink tint to, um, uh, in, the, in the tortoise uh, shell there. You, I think you can kind of see it right there. But yeah, so I just really love, love, love these shades right here. Um, like I said, they just make me feel fabulous when I have them on. So that is number three. And for number uh, four, um, I have to say a nice pair of designer shoes um, is is fabulous too now many of you guys know uh before i had these valentino rock studs i had the dupes okay and i still rock my dupes i still love my dupes um but and the reason why i never pulled the trigger on these is because of the price point um, with tax and everything, these babies can be, you know, a thousand dollars. And for me, that was just way too much money to spend because cost per wear. Um, my line of profession, I wear scrubs and tennis shoes every day. Um, I seldom wear shoes like this uh, unless I'm going out, you know, something like that. But for a thousand dollars, I just didn't think I was going to get you know, the, the cost per wear, I just couldn't justify it. But when I was able to get these babies at 58% off, oh yeah, I jumped on them. And this shoe right here, I just think it's so elegant looking, um, especially when it's on the foot and when you have on um, a dress and people can see them. Even my dupes, I get tons and tons and tons of compliments on them so uh for me i was so happy when i was finally able and i'm, I'm gonna keep it real okay it is it was really nice to be able to you know to to rock the real things you know so um i love these shoes i'm so glad that um i found them at a price point that i felt comfortable with paying and um and yeah so these right here made the cut at number four and the last item is a handbag. Now, this particular handbag I'm going to show you is not a is not from a luxury, a high-end luxury designer. And I know typically when we think of luxury, we think of um oh god. Do I have Oh, that was so Oh, excuse me for that. I had I have on um this lip gloss here that you can you can tell um, and I just was able to see that I had a little something a little white thing in the corner of my mouth oh sorry about that guys um, anyway so typically when we think of a luxury design luxury we think of high-end luxury houses Chanel Hermes uh, Louis Vuitton Gucci Fendi you know all those um, but, you know, to me, luxury doesn't always have to cost a lot of money for you to feel luxurious with the item, um, you know, anything like that. So, like I was saying, this next item is a handbag and is not from a high-end luxury uh, designer. But to me, this is a luxurious bag so now I'm gonna show you the bag it is this bag right here and this bag this is a Henry Bendo bag um, let me get the strap out but you know I was looking uh, through my collection and of course I have other bags that are from high-end fashion houses and for me, the reason why I chose this bag over them is because the way the bag feels, okay? Um, this bag is made out of lambskin leather, and it is very Chanel looking, you know, with the strap, the, you know, the gold with the leather going through it. And uh, this bag, like I was saying, is made out of lambskin leather. So this bag feels so, so soft. And it's just a gorgeous bag, in my opinion. 
Um, so that's the reason why I chose this bag over my other high-end bags is because of the way this bag feels. It just, the lamb skin just feels so luxurious. I love this bag. Um, this bag, you can dress it up. You can dress it down just because of the way it looks. You know what I mean? With this chain, like I said, which is very Chanel-ish. And, um... So yeah, so for me, this bag right here made the cut and I only have, believe it or not, I only have, this is the only black bag that I have um, in my collection. I typically don't buy black bags just because, I don't know, I'm just not really attracted to a black bag. I was definitely attracted to this one just because of the way it looks, the way it feels. Um, it's a very rich looking bag. The bag, I mean, I've gotten a lot of compliments on this bag when I wear it. Um, you know, to me, the bag looks expensive to me. Um, but yeah, so that's the reason why this made the cut for number five is because the feel of this bag is just so luxurious. So that concludes um, the video for me on my five picks. I know that I am late to the game and um, I, do, I can't, I don't know who else, I know who else, who, who, who do I want to tag? I would like to tag I, and I, I apologize if I'm tagging you and you've already done the tag because I should have done my homework and I didn't um, as to who has already done it. I would like to tag Jendal in the city. I would like to tag um, Style with Nina. I don't think she did it. Um, I'll tell you what. Look down below because there is a another a YouTuber... I'm going to put you guys on pause, okay? Okay, I'm back. So there is a, um, a YouTuber that I actually, she found me. And then she let me know that she had a channel. And her channel name is Yota Style. Y-O-T-A-S-T-Y-L-E. And I'll leave her the link to her channel down below too. Um, she has a fabulous channel, a very lovely lady. And um, she has 151 subscribers right now. Um, but she has, she's into, I'm, I'm looking down at her, um, at her, um, her channel right now. And she has that handbags, beauty, style, luxury, travel, art. Those are the things that she likes to share. So go by, check out her channel. Um, I'm really glad that she found me and that I was able to, you know, uh, check her channel out. Um, I have to play catch up on some of her videos. I watched one of her videos last night, but I have to, um, play catch up on a few of her other videos. But actually, I would like to tag her. Actually, no, I take that back. She already did the tag. So um, anyway, guys, until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.